One. Two. Three. Four. Eight hundred and twenty. Eight hundred twenty one. Eight hundred twenty two. Eight hundred and twenty three. So there are 823 V dollar views in a typical version of the Oracle database, and you could double that if you include the GV dollar views, which span rack instances. And of course, the question is, is well, that's a lot to deal with, especially if I'm new to the Oracle database. Which ones are useful? Which ones should I ignore? Which ones should I never touch? And so here is my top 10 list of Vidola views that I think will be very useful for you. Number 10, Vidola database. Very useful just to get a quick view of what's going on inside your database, how it's set up. It's gonna tell you if you've got archive log turned on, which you would hope so in a production environment. It's gonna tell you what its role is. Is it a standby? Is it in read-only mode, etc.? It'll tell you if flashback logging is on, and it'll tell you if you're doing things like full database caching. Lots of useful information about your database if it's the first time you've seen it. Number nine is V$ data file. The most important thing about a database is the data, and that's gonna sit on files either on the operating system or in ASM. V$ data file is gonna list those files for you, tell you their size, and also it's gonna tell you if there's been a no logging operation on them. That's a critical piece of information if you need to do a one-off backup just to make sure that everything is safe and secure. Number eight is V$ instance. I have a podcast episode where I talk about the difference between an instance in a database if you're new to Oracle, but your instance is the set of processes and memory structures that runs on a particular node. So V$ instance will tell you the node name, It'll tell you what version you're running, and it'll tell you whether logins are allowed in that instance, etc. Number seven is Vidola Lock. Most database problems are either a expensive SQL or someone stopping someone else from doing work. Vidola Lock is perfect for that latter scenario. It shows you what resources are locked, whether they're blocking other people. It's a very useful facility for tracking down locking issues. Be aware that Vidal Lock is not a database of all the locks in the database. I might have a thousand rows locked, that'll only result in one entry in Vidal Lock. This is all about the locks on resources, not the locks on rows. Number six is Vidal Parameter and the family of these files. There's Vidal Parameter 2, Vidal SP Parameter, etc. It shows you at the database and at session level what parameters are in effect, which ones have been changed. Ideally, most databases run with as many defaults as possible, but knowing which ones have been set outside the defaults is a very useful facility when it comes to tracking down performance problems or any kind of issue with your database. Number five, VDollar session stat, VDollar stat name. VDollar ses stat is a great view for all the metrics that have occurred in your current session, how many reads you've done, how many commits you've done, etc. But the only information in there is a statistic number. So you need to join the VDollar stat name to get the meaningful name for each statistic. But the combination of these two, you can also use VDollar my stat. Uh, it's a similar thing, but it's VDollar ses stat for your current session. Those views give you important metrics to see what's going on in your session or other sessions. And there's the very common rule of thumb, which is massive numbers are areas worth investigating. Number four, VDOL session event. A database can either burn CPU or it has to wait on something. It could be IO, it could be someone's lock, it could be a cluster related event. When you can't get work done, and what I mean by work is when you can't get access to the CPU, that's called a wait event, and it's typically tracked in VDollar session event. 
When people are complaining about slow performance, a great place to look is VDollar Session Event for their sessions to see whether they're encountering locking or any other kind of weight information. Very, very useful view when it comes to finding out why people can't exploit all the server resources they have at their disposal. Number three, VDollar Active Session History. Came along in Oracle 10G, fantastic facility because it tracks every active session every single second and stores that in a buffer in the SGA. The reason it's very, very cool is what used to happen when people have some sort of problem in the database, whether it's a performance problem or anything else, you would have that awkward position as a RT practitioner and saying, can you please experience that problem again now that we've turned on some tracing or something like that? VDLA Active Session is a great way of looking back in time at potential issues in your database, whether they be performance or locking or anything else, and be able to diagnose what happened at some time in the past, even though that moment is now gone. It's a fantastic facility and often obviates the need for things like SQL Trace. Number two, VDLA SQL Plan. When you run an explain plan command on a SQL statement, there's no guarantee really that the plan you get is the one that's going to be used at execution time. So many factors come into play when we actually come to execute a statement. In order to see the genuinely executed plan, Vidal SQL plan is the place to go. Rarely you have to query it directly, you'll get access to it via DBMS X plan package, but it's Vidal SQL plan that's giving you that vital information. Number one, VDollar SQL and VDollar SQL stats. VDollar SQL is effectively all the SQL in your library cache, plus all the metrics in terms of who parsed it, how many times it's been executed, the PL SQL program unit that initiated it, lots of fantastic information associated with every single SQL statement. I mentioned VDollar SQL stats as well, because if you're going to be data mining the SQL statements aggressively, and you're just after the execution metrics, VDollar SQL stats is a far more efficient view to use. If you go plundering away at VDollar SQL, you might actually create problems that you're actually trying to solve. So use the two in conjunction with each other, VDollar SQL stats to find SQLs. If you need more information about it, for example, the module, the client info, the action, etc., then maybe go to VDollar SQL after that. And so that's my top 10. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's one more which I left off because it's probably the most important one you'll ever have to start with whenever you're looking at your database, that's VDollar Session. It's a list of everyone that's connected to the database, whether it's a genuine user or an application or a connection pool. It shows you all the important stuff like whether they're currently active, how long they've been active for. It has snapshots of the various other views we've mentioned. It's got the weight events, etc., all sitting there in one simple to data mine view. Whenever you have a system that you're looking at, if you look at VDollar Session, you get an instantaneous glance at what's going on, and it's probably the first point you'll ever look at when you're looking in performance problems. So there you go, my top 10, well, top 11 VDollar views that I think you'll use on a day-to-day -day basis, and it helps you sift out from the 823 VDollar views the ones you'll most commonly use and the ones you get a lot of value from. Let me know in the comments your top 10 and we can do some compare and contrast. <laughs>